it's Natasha of natashaskitchen.com. Today we're making a European dessert that's known as Ptice Moloko, and it's such a treat. It has a mousse-like creamy base with a velvety smooth chocolate topping. It's an elegant and impressive dessert that's surprisingly easy to make. I always start with the chocolate sauce to give it time to cool. So in a small saucepan, whisk together five tablespoons of sugar, five tablespoons of cocoa powder, and one packet of unflavored gelatin. Add one cup of cold water and five tablespoons of milk and whisk until combined. Place the mixture over medium heat and bring to a boil while mixing constantly. If you don't continue whisking, the chocolate might lump up, so don't walk away from it. When you see a steady boil, take it off the heat and let it cool to room temperature. Now on to making the vanilla mousse. In a small saucepan, combine one cup of milk, a teaspoon of vanilla extract, and two packets of gelatin and whisk those together. Now place the pan over medium heat and continue whisking until it starts steaming. Do not boil the mixture. There is definitely steam coming off the top, so I'm gonna take it off the heat and transfer to a separate container to cool faster. Once that mixture is warm and no longer hot, I'm gonna beat one cup of heavy whipping cream on high speed until it's thick and fluffy. Also, don't wash that mixer just yet because you'll need it again. In a separate dish, combine 16 ounces of sour cream and one cup plus two tablespoons of sugar. Stir those together until well blended, then fold in the whipped cream. Now with the mixer on low speed, slowly drizzle in your warm milk mixture and it should be just fairly warm at this point. Mix for an additional 30 seconds to make sure it's well incorporated, and because the mixture sets quickly, you want to divide it right away between your serving glasses. Refrigerate for at least 30 minutes or until it's just set, then you're ready to pour the chocolate sauce over the top. Spoon about three to four tablespoons over each cup. Set raspberries over the top, then refrigerate your desserts for four to five hours or until completely set. My dessert is set and I'm ready for the taste test. Here we go. Not gonna lose any time. Mm -hmm. This is so good. I love how the chocolate really cuts through the sweetness of the mousse and that mousse is so fluffy and flavorful. Wow, and make sure you don't miss those raspberries because that tangy bite is irresistible. You know, you can also divide these into smaller cups and serve them at a party. It also makes for a really romantic dessert. Think Valentine's Day, huh? Now, I'm gonna take my portion here, go cozy up on the couch with it, and finish it off. <laughs> If you enjoyed this video, give me a great big thumbs up below. I'd really appreciate that. Make sure to subscribe to our YouTube channel and thanks for joining me in my kitchen.